Hey friends, it's Len here from 1A Auto. Today we're working on our 2011 Mazda 3 and I want to show you something very basic, checking your coolant level. You're going to want to make sure you have hand protection and of course eye protection. Super important, safety first is the number one concern here at 1A Auto. Next you want to make sure that your engine is nice and cool, okay? It's not hot to the touch. This is not hot to the touch. I did not just come back from the beach on a nice little road test or a you know, a ride with my favorite friend. Um, everything's feeling good, okay? If it was hot, it would be under pressure and we'd be in a dangerous circumstance. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this to the left. I'm pressing down at the same time, just in case there's any pressure, and I'm keeping my face away from it. Okay, here we are, open it away from me. There's our cap. We'll just take a peek in there. There's a little rubber seal that goes around it. Looks like it's in good condition. I would say this is reusable. If we needed to add, we'd add right inside here. We'd use the special uh, or specific type of coolant that you need to use. The way you can check to see if you do need to add anything is just right along here. You have a minimum and then up here is the maximum. This fluid is filled just above the maximum. Um, if you wanted to, you could use something to take out a little bit of coolant. It's really not that much above the maximum that I would worry about it, so I'm not going to. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go ahead and take this, screw it right back on until it's nice and snug. There we are. Tight. All right, easy peasy. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com, your place for DIY auto repairs, for great parts, great service, and more content.